all right guys in this video we are going to use olama and private gvt to talk to our documents so this is a pdf file uh, a book about uh, think and grow rich book uh, about success and your mindset but it's a 200 plus page book and we are going to ask questions to this book using a technology known as private gpt and that private gpt we will use the olama for powering the private gpt in the last video of mine uh, which is the chat gpt like interface for olama open source uh, i received a few comments where people wanted to ask questions for example upload a csv file and ask questions to the file uh, how do i ask questions to my csv file uh, can i chat with docs through this interface what are the limits so these were some of the questions that i received in the last video and uh, therefore i was uh, motivated to uh, put up this system where we are going to start up a large language model locally using olama and then we are going to start up the private gpt uh, i will going to power the private gpt with the large language models from uh, olama and uh, then we are going to put in our files or any number of files and we can ask questions and chat with our files so let's get started so first of all we need to install olama and as you know we go to olama.ai and click on download here let's wait and we have this uh, mac os we need to download this once we download this we need to install that we have for linux as well but it's still not available for windows so for the mac i have already downloaded and once you download and install it you will see this icon on the top where it says that it is running now you can quit olama from here by just quitting there and you can go to this icon and start up olama again and then you will have the icon appearing again on the top now this is running olama is running how do we test it out let's open up a terminal let's go to applications and let's open up a terminal here and in this terminal what we are going to say it's very easy we say olama run and for example mistral models so you, we put just this command olama run mistral if mistral is present in your system if it is downloaded then it's going to directly start up uh, the system for chatting so for example i have mistral installed here so tell me a joke i'm giving the same example again 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 and again i'm putting the same example again and again another one why don't why do programmers prefer dark mode because light attracts bugs another one you can see the speed i've already shown this to you this is a uh, uh, macbook air um, 8 gb memory and uh, now what i can do is since this is running we can now exit this uh, slash exit and clear this so we have olama running now once we have olama running we need to integrate a private gpt so what i have done is that instead of you know creating different repos for uh, on my github profile uh, for you to share the codes what i have done is if you go to google and search for prompt engineer 48 github then the first link that you will have prompt engineer 48 github if you open that page uh, open that github and you can see my profile here and in the profile if you go to the pinned repos you go to olama and there you will find that there are different folders which i've made so the first folder is already done and in the last videos we have already seen how to get this running i'm just going to show it so this was the code this is just the integration of langchain we're just calling mistral and we are using langchain but in this folder in the next folder this is the video about this folder so olama private gpt chat with docs this is the folder that this video is based on and i shall add different videos uh, numbering in the sequence of the videos that i have so in the next video we can expect uh, a three folder uh, on, uh, on on a different concept uh, but based on olama i shall publish everything here and you can get the repo clone uh, from this link so let's go to this folder and in this folder what i have is uh, different files and what i need you to do is to read the readme here 
and here I have mentioned the different steps that we need to take. So what we are going to do now is we are going to clone this. So let me go back. So this is my main repo, Prompt Engineer 48 Olama. And from there, we are going to clone this. So click on the green button. And then we're going to copy this. Okay. So let's go to Visual Studio Code Editor. And there we are going to open up a new folder. Uh, I'm going to go to my documents and create a new folder here. Uh, let's say chat, uh, chat with docs. Okay. Chat with docs. This is my folder and I'm just going to open this folder. Once you open this folder, we have an empty space here. So here we need to pull our GitHub uh, code that we have here. Since we have already copied this link, we can go to the terminal here, create a new terminal here and say git clone and put in the link. You need to have git install uh, to, for this to work. So we press enter. This will copy everything in the in this folder, inside this folder, Olama folder. Now we change the directory to Olama. We can do cd Olama and then we can change the directory to cd to Olama. But instead of doing that, you can just right click here and you can just copy the path here and you can just change directory to that path. So we can see that we are inside the Olama private GPT now. So we clear this, we can list the different files that are here. So license is just a license. The main file here that I wanted to read is the readme. So we are going to open the readme file here. So this is these are the different steps that you need to take. So let's uh, do the different steps. I am also uh, testing this myself because I want you to have a seamless experience. So uh, the whatever is written, I would like to follow that. And if there is any mistakes uh, in the writing, I shall correct that so that you get the best version of uh, the different steps that you need to do to get this running. Now, as a first step, we need to set up a virtual environment and uh, let's set up a virtual environment. Uh, how to create, you can use Conda or you can use .venv, but I'm gonna use Conda this time. So we can say Conda create uh the name of the file or the name of the environment is let's say private i already have a private therefore i'm calling this private one and the python version that we're going to use is 3.11 it's as simple as that so we have created a conda environment uh, proceed yes so we are creating a conda environment and inside the conda environment we are going to do everything and all the installations and all the running that we need this is set up, but we need to activate that. We can see that here, the, there is this base now, but we want private one to appear here so that we know that we are working on the private one uh, Conda environment. So what we can do is we can just say Conda activate, sorry, activate a private one, sorry. So we can see that private has been activated now. Now we can do this clear. And so we are inside the private Conda environment and we are inside this folder that we have uh, here to Olama. Now inside this, we need to do the installations. Uh, if you see the requirements here, these are the requirements that we need to install. And we can just install by saying that pip uh, install dash r requirements. R is dash r is for reading the file. So read the requirements.txt file and do the installations of whatever uh, we have there so requirement is already satisfied inside the private one okay this is done so we clear this and now uh, we are going to follow these steps that we have uh, in the in, in the in the readme file so in the second step is done we did the installation third step is you want to pull the models if you uh, didn't have any models in the Olama, but since we know we have models running on Olama because we have already checked with Mistral, so we are going to just pull. Uh, for an example, I'm just going to pull Olama, pull Mistral. Let's see. So pulling manifest, and since we already have, so this is fast because it's already available. So it's a success, and we just clear this. So pulling is done. Next is we want to put your files in the source document. 
folder after making a directory or creating the directory. So we're going to make a directory called source documents. So the shortcut is make dir of source documents. Okay, just press enter and we'll see that we have this folder here. Now if I go back to my folder here, go back to downloads, I have this uh, Think and Grow Rich book. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to Documents and Chat with Docs here, Olama uh, 2 and the source document. Inside here, I'm going to paste this. So I have this uh, book inside of the private documents. Now, if I go to my code, we can see that this private, uh, this source document has been uploaded. Uh, the Think and Grow Rich has been uploaded inside the source documents. Okay, check it up. Okay, we have the book now. Let's go to the next step. So after uh, uploading the source document, what you're going to need to do is to ingest the files. We are going to take in the files. Okay, so we have this ingest.py file here. We're going to run this. So I'm going to say Python 3 for Mac or for Windows. You can just say Python then ingest.py. Just press enter and you should see something like this where the file is being ingested okay so it's reading the file here it has loaded the new documents uh, loaded 235 new documents and split it into 1268 chunks and it's now creating the embeddings it may take few minutes but i don't think so it didn't take a few minutes it's completed the video is not sped up or anything like that no editing on this part okay uh, so we have ingested it and now we need to do is what we need to do is run this private gpt.py so we say python3 private gpt.py okay so let's wait okay it's very fast enter a query and uh, let's say why do most uh, people fail in executing the strategies okay mentioned in the book think and grow rich let's see the results now the different kinds of files that you're going to upload is uh, are the csv doc files you know mails epub html and all sorts of documents we have used pdf here but all sorts of documents now it is running and you can see the speed i have not uh, cut or done any editing here now let's see uh, the result here most people fail to execute the strategies mentioned in the book because one of the main reasons for failure is lack of decision making, which is revealed through an accurate analysis of over 25,000 men and women who have experienced failure. Procrastination, which is the opposite of decision making, is a common enemy that many people must conquer in order to succeed. List five key learnings from uh, this document let's see it also it also uh, gives us the sources where uh, it found so these are the five the learnings reading this book is an indication that you are earnestly seeking knowledge as you read underlined sentences that impress you favorably okay uh, if you only learn as a student there may be much you didn't know failure is possible if you choose to follow some instructions the document claims that the foregoing instruction will open the way for complete understanding and mastery of the principle of success not bad it actually depends on the model that you're using we are using mistral here if you remember correctly uh, if you go to the olama and go to models here you can see the list of models that are available so mistral olama now depending on what documents you are importing you can choose the different models uh, that you want here uh, but yeah, this is how you integrate and read and ask questions uh, to your document using private GPT and that is powered by Olama. Now I would like to summarize everything, what we have done. I have created a repo known as Olama. If you go to prompt engineer 48 GitHub, you will have a repo known as Olama. Inside that repository, you'll find different folders. Uh, we are talking about second folder now. So this second folder contains Olama, integration of Olama and uh, private GPT. We download the code and follow the different steps that I have mentioned in the readme section. And then we are able to 
successfully ingest the file and successfully ask questions to the file so this is in response to the comments that i received in my video if you want me to make uh, videos on your questions that you post on my comment section i shall be happy to do so because i have so many projects lined up and i do find time to bring out the videos that is required but the most important project that i'm currently working is the integration of that uh, memgpt uh, autogen and the olama apis or olama server calling now having said that i think this should be the end of my video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for interesting content like this if you found this video useful share this video like this video and leave a comment if you like the video i also request you to join me if uh, you like and if not it's okay but please subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time this is your host prompt engineer signing off bye bye watch out the other videos that i have on my channel thank you so much